today I'm talking about part 130, the Marine Kingdom's Water Spirits, on the series titled Non-Humans Are Everywhere. But first, let's see what the Word of God says. The Word of God says in Ephesians, the 6th chapter and the 12th verse, 4, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And Job, the 26th chapter, and the fifth verse says, Dead things are formed from under the waters and the inhabitants thereof. Now, the marine kingdom is the underwater kingdom of Satan that uses marine spirits or water spirits. And this is a very organized, wicked, popular, evil, deceptive, and extremely powerful demonic kingdom. Now, just to name a few, the marine kingdom is full of giant, filthy sea monster devils, plus banshees, leviathan, river spirits, evil sea beings, nixes, nymphs, mermaids, the succubus, sirens, naiads, aquarius spirits, oceanids, and African water spirits as snakes, crocodiles, or half fish, half human-like beings. Plus, the water spirit Amphitrite in Greek mythology, the goddess of the sea resides there. And it is said that the marine kingdom is located in the India Sea, but the queen of the coast is located in the Atlantic Ocean. And some of these demonic beings are responsible for accidents, sudden death, business loss, financial loss, bankruptcies, bachelorhood, barrenness, eating and drinking in dreams, swimming in dreams, spirit husbands, spirit wives, spirit children, and spirit cages, plus spirit prisons. And they may make contact through covenants or sex with their agents or direct idol worship or ancestral and parental marine worship or rituals and sacrifices. So be very careful of these deceitful beings because of their initiation through anyone and even friends or fake churches through food, clothes, gifts, jewelry, and sharing things. Plus, they can cause initiation and polluted childbirths by giving a barren person a child from the kingdom of darkness. And sadly, you can come into contact with these marine spirits at night parties and dancing with non-human, shape-shifting water spirits. And also, you can be initiated by bathing in a river, a stream, spring, lake, pond, ocean, because of a false prophet. Therefore, initiation into the marine kingdom can come from many different ways, even by herbalists, native doctors, oracles, fake churches, and many music artists, because many of them are satanically inspired by marine spirits. And these evil water spirits are full of sexual perversions, like fornication, adultery, homosexuality, lesbianism, pornography, abortion, incest, rape, and child molestation. And these supernatural beings of folklore of many cultures are not ghosts, but fallen angels and or water demons. And 
they are contacted through witchcraft. And humans sign contracts with Satan through water spirits. And many high-ranking Satanists, psychologists, scientists, celebrities, politicians, clergy, and even regular people worship marine spirits and are possessed by them. So don't be deceived or fooled by the marine kingdom because it is not of God, the heavenly father, and it is not of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. In fact, you cannot serve the one and only true God and serve marine spirits too, because that's evil, filthy, and an abomination to God. So only serve God, the heavenly father, through Jesus Christ, and seek the heavenly father for your needs and wants. I am prophetess Lorraine Daly Johnson. Thanks. Thanks for listening.